In today's video, I'm doing an exercise in the forgotten angles in my photography compositions. The two angles that I almost never, and in some cases never, shoot in. And that's pointing the camera straight up and pointing the camera straight down. Why am I doing that? Well, I'll explain a bit more in the video and uh, hopefully show you some of the images I managed to get. I hope you'll enjoy it. If you do and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. So, as I said in the intro, I'm looking today at the forgotten angles in my photography compositions. Now what I mean by that is if I look at all of the images that I've shot over the last few years, I almost never point the camera straight down. I never point the camera straight up. Now there may be a very good reason for that. Maybe I'm not gonna get any decent images that way. But maybe it's another technique that I can use when I'm out doing photography if I'm struggling with compositions or conditions or whatever else it might be. So I thought to myself, why not set myself a little photography challenge? To go out, uh, I'm starting out on the beach here near to home and I'm gonna have a little wander around near the sea and then maybe move off into the town area a little bit and try and get some images where I'm either pointing the camera straight down or straight up. I'm not going to measure the angle with a spirit level to make sure it's 100% vertical either way. <laughs> but, you know, I want to try to get it fairly close, but if it's just tilted a little bit to make it work, that's acceptable for me. And I'm not limiting myself in terms of the way I'm going to process these images. You know, I may do, uh, you know, kind of a fine art edit, an extreme edit, black and white, color, I don't know whatever I choose to do is okay. The main thing is shooting up or down. And it's a practice. It's a way of kind of training my eye and my mind to think about things in a different way. I didn't want to go out at a sunrise or a sunset and practice it. So I'm out, you know, kind of middle of the afternoon and uh, you know, we'll have a play around and see what we can get. And like all of these things, it might turn out to be absolute rubbish but I don't know till I try. Let's go and see what we can find to shoot, shall we? I'm gonna start off with one of the more obvious things. We've got waves washing up on a sandy beach. That's gonna create patterns of water, maybe some trails in the sand. Because of the uh, lack of any significant tide here in, uh, on the Med, um, the only way you get those wave trails is if you can catch them in between the waves uh, because you don't get them left as the tide is receding. So there might be something there. I can already see there's a few little patterns in there. Now what I've got to be careful of is I don't want to uh, you know, destroy those patterns as I'm walking in there. So uh, I'm going to have to be careful about my footing. Uh, I also don't really want to get swamped in the waves and get soaking wet feet. Probably should have put my wellies on, but there we go. Let's see what we can do. Got a kind of a, uh, a ball-shaped bit of seaweed here, and where the waves have come up around it, it's created a, a trail as they've receded. So uh, I'm gonna get in fairly close 22 mil. Uh, I don't need uh, a lot of depth of field, so f5.6. Let's me get a nice fast shutter speed and no exposure time. Nice shadow and pattern. And that's just been washed away, so if I got it, I'm lucky. <laughs> and I think I did. I quite like that. Thank you. 
see what else we can find. Something similar here, but with wet sand. I'm gonna have to get in there quick. Yeah, and now I've got wet feet. I don't think I got it. <laughs> I might have done. <laughs> I quite like the idea of getting kind of the front edge of a small wave coming up on the sandy beach with kind of like the bubbles and the foam in it. Very abstract, maybe with kind of an angle across it. I'm gonna have to kind of run in and out <laughs> to try and get it. So we'll see how that works. I might end up getting wet feet again. clump of weed and stuff down here got some sort of trails in the sand around it and I'm kind of thinking if I can get it maybe just like that but also maybe just with a wave in the edge of the frame it might look quite interesting so again we'll give it a go typical the waves were coming up here quite a bit earlier and now they've uh, backed off a bit but so we'll give it a couple of minutes and see It'll only take one decent sized one. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And wet feet again. And it's washed my subject away. But we're quick. Oh, nice with the wet sand. Yeah, got caught soaking wet feet and legs, but that's okay. I think I may have got a couple of nice images there. Time to have a little wander around. Maybe I'll think about heading away from the beach area and uh, try and find some subjects to photograph looking straight up. I have a bit of a fascination for the, these lifeguard towers and I'd, uh, I don't know if I've ever shot one looking straight up, I don't think I have. So I'm going to try that because it's a very graphic shape against a very blue sky. So either as colour or maybe as a high contrast black and white, it could look interesting. Over this side we've got all the steps going up, oh that's nice. away from the beach and the seafront and up to the park because there's some nice trees up here 
and I was kind of thinking uh, maybe a vertical shot looking straight up from the base of a tree up into the canopy but to do that I think I'm going to need either a tree that's fairly isolated or a cluster of trees that I can bring in together and I'm not sure if I'm going to find it but we'll have a little walk around because you never know So I like the shape of this tree as it kind of curves up and then it's all kind of twisted and some nice foliage with a blue sky and that behind it. about this tree trunk here it's um, got some lovely patterns in it it's got a crack running through it and I'm thinking a fairly close-up shot of that looking straight down I'm about 15 16 millimeters kind of focusing quite a lot on that crack in there and the textures tree here is quite isolated if I can get nice and low down and shoot straight up I can probably fit in the trunk going up and the foliage against the sky but I am gonna have to get very low down I think Okay, I've done a few shots looking down, a few shots looking straight up, and hopefully some of them will have come out okay. I'm not suggesting any of them are going to be portfolio images. This is a, uh, a practice session, a chance to kind of train my eye and my imagination to look at things in a different way, so that next time I'm out somewhere else, and maybe I'm struggling to find an image that works, hopefully I'll remember to look down and look up and see if anything grabs me, because you never know. I hope you've enjoyed this video and this little exercise. Uh, if you don't normally shoot looking straight down or straight up, I encourage you to have a go at it and just, just play around, see what you can find. The beauty of it is you don't even necessarily have to go anywhere particularly spectacular to find stuff. I mean, some of the stuff I've done today has just been in a park. So you can do it pretty easily. Or indeed, if there's another compositional approach that you don't normally take, give it a try, practice it, and maybe next time you're out somewhere nice and you're struggling, it will come in handy. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, likes and shares are really appreciated. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. If you've enjoyed this video and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. Check out my recommended viewing at the end, and as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch, so thank you very much, and until the next video, bye.